<clears throat> Aloha class! Aloha! Good morning! Um, today we're going to learn about multiplications and divisions. So do any of you remember what we did last class? It's additions and subtractions. This time we're going to do something different. We all know what this sign means right here, right? Add. Yes, it's plus, it's add addition. But this time, we are going to learn about this X thing that's in between the numbers and this weird looking um, symbol that's in between. Just, this is a division symbol, okay? So, do any of you know anything about multiplications? Anything? <laughs> um, something about groups? Groups of numbers? Yes, groups. So multiplication is basically um, counting the number of groups. Let's say, what do you like? I'm saying, Apple. you all like Apple. apples, right? So I'll draw apple. So there are we're counting the number of groups of a number with the number of object. So let's say we have a bag of two apples, mm -hmm. and then there's another bag of two apples. So then we would say this is two apples times two, because there are two of them, and then can anyone count how many apples there are? Four. One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four apples in there, so two times two will be four. So let's another example. Let's say I'll make three equations right here so that you can work on it. Um, these are the simplest questions. So if there's one group of one object, what would the answer be? One. 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 Then what if there's one group of two objects, then how many would there be? Two. 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 And one group of three objects, then that would be three. So with this in mind, Let's say, let's say, ooh, let's say you have um, three apples in a bag, and you have four of them. Do you know how much it'd be? Can you try to count them in your head? Um. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> yes, twelve. So three times four would be twelve. Okay, today I have some treats for you. I know you all like chocolates, like so brought Yay! some chocolates for you. But this is not just for eating, but to see if you can try and multiply them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on your table, okay, okay, um, <clears throat> make three groups of two chocolates. <laughs> two groups, I mean, three groups of two chocolates. Same color? Any color, any color that you want. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't eat them until you're done with the class. <laughs> no eating them. <laughs> so, three groups, right? There are three groups of two chocolates. And try and count them one by one. So, there's one, two, three, four, Five, six. six. So it's two times three is six. six. One. Okay, now we're going to switch the numbers. So we're going to say 
there are three groups, I mean three chocolates in two groups. Are the numbers, are the answer, I mean is the answer going to be the same or different? The same. same. Yes, because there are one, two, three, four, five, six chocolates in total. <laughs> now we're going to go in bigger numbers. Make five groups of nine chocolates. Whoa. Oh, I don't think we have that many. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's a big we one. We can try. Okay, two or two groups of nine. How many? How many? Two groups of nine. One, two, three, Division, yes. So we're going to go backwards now. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So we're trying to divide, so it means to separate um, them in equal amounts from a bigger group. So let's say um, we have eight chocolates and there are two people you have two friends right in front of you and you have 10 chocolates. How would you try to divide them? You want to divide them equally, right? Yes. So how many would each of the, your friends get? Two friends? Yes, there are two friends in front of you. Give one. They're one, one. <laughs> uh, I mean, that will be not really, well, not, that's not, not fair. very nice. <laughs> it's not fair, yes. It's not equal. It's not equal. How can you make it equal? You can try to divide oh. them. By two. By two. So let's say there are eight, eight. Right here, and divide it by two. two, which will be four. Four. Do you know why it would be four? Mm. We can think it this way. There, there are two people with four chocolates. Each. That will cool. Each, and then that will turn into eight in total. So if it's two times four, then that will be eight. We can always switch this part and do this part to check if you got the answers right. Yay! Yes. So, who can actually come up in the front and do this um, do this equation for me? <laughs> okay, we'll go in bigger numbers. Since you guys are so smart, I'm going to do in a bigger number. I don't know. <laughs> Can someone come up? <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Come up and do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Want me to draw it? Yes. Or draw. Yes. Like okay, first, first you can start drawing it. Well, that would be a lot of numbers, so. Yeah. Or if you can do it without drawing, then you can just do it. Oh, okay. Just after it. Yay, so do you think you should get it right? I don't know how to do it. Did she get it right? Yeah, yes. But do you know how it did it? How she did it? Not really. Yeah. Okay. We can go over again. So how can we know it's right? We said we can flip the numbers backwards and make this part a multiplication and see if oh. it will be the same as the first mm. big number that we began with. So let's say 11 times 2. Okay, can you give me an answer for this? 22. 22. 22. Yes, is this the same number as the number that we began with? Yeah. Yes. So that is how it works. Is everyone confident with this now? 
Yeah. Okay, that's good. Then now we'll have some worksheets that you can do either with your partner or by yourself you can, if you think you can manage it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so happy with the chocolates, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> We need some pencils. I need pencils, teacher. Okay, here you go, Erna. Go. And here you go. How much of any can be cut again? Can okay, I'll give you about five minutes to work on them. And if you have got any questions, you can ask me, or you can try to solve it with your friend, or we can solve it with a group as it's class. <laughs> All of them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Did you guys memorize the multiplication table? You guys have memorized? Yes. No? Mm -hmm. No. I, I memorized it up to like I can I think I only remember up to eleven now. Eleven to eleven. Mm-hmm. I'm done. I'm done? Are you all done? I was very fast. Who wants to come up and share the answers and see if you got it right as a group? Who wants to share their answer? The first First two answers. First two answers. Okay. Or you can just um, say it. Okay. Does everyone have the same worksheet? Um, the first two answer. The answer for number one, A is A, and for number two, A is ten. Okay. Who got the same answer with her? Okay. Do you think the first the second question wasn't really right. What was the first Oh, one A. Oh, okay, she went no. Okay, actually, it was right. Sorry, I got oh, mixed up. I'm sorry. No, no, one A. Okay. And then, okay. So who wants to go? I go. Next. Okay. One B is two. Two B is nine. Yes. What's next? Tina, do you want to go? 3A is 4, and 3B is 18. Okay. Next one. 4A is 6, and 4B is 14. Okay. Let's do the next. 5A is 33. Mm -hmm. 5B is 36. Okay. 6A is 12. 6B is 18. Okay. 7A. 7A is 24. So and 7B is 22. Okay, so 8A. 8A is 30 and 8B is 6. Mm -hmm. And 9A is? 9A is 3. 9B is 24. Okay. 10A is 20. 10B is 15. Perfect! You are actually a very smart class! <laughs> you got them the first time! Hey! Okay. Yay! Yay! Yay for us! So, I yeah. have another worksheet that's for Dan Alexan. <laughs> Woo! Yes! You guys were perfect. You'll get an A for it, I'm sure. And you can. Go ahead and give the sheets to me so that I can put them in your folders, your work folders, and put your grade on them. Oh, oh, I hate this. And then the sheet I just handed this out is, is the hard. division. Yes. So for division, it might be a little bit harder than multiplication. So let's go over again just to make sure. So division is the opposite of multiplication. So you are trying to give 
um, the separate the first beginning number into the with the equal amounts to several people or several things. Let me get them right. Um. <laughs>